Certified History Nerd. <clears throat> and today, just let sit down, I will be going over the comparisons of the M56 equipment and the M67 equipment. Um, now, yeah, well, let's just begin. So, first things first, we have the belt. So, the belt for the M56 is a canvas belt with three holes. It's hard to tell because my equipment's so my belt's so small because my waist is so small. It, yeah, and it has the same buckle system as every almost every single belt that's come before it for the United States. So about World War One, not about World War One since World War One. The belt this is for the eighties one. It has two holes and is a nylon belt with a different buckle. Um. And here's the actual M67 uh, first one, which has the same buckle system as the M56. However, it is nylon and a two button system or two hole system. <clears throat> now, ignore this stuff that was added on by a friend. Not this one, this one's original print. That one's also original print. These two are drawn on. Same with what's on here. Sadly. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> now, I do not have an 80s grenade. Well, I might, but probably not anytime soon. So yeah, the only thing that's not really uh, technically a part of the M56 equipment is the 1911 holster and the 1911 ammunition pouch, which can be interchanged to the 80s as well. Um, now, the only thing that's on here that's not on there is the butt pack. Of course, we have the M56 butt pack. However, this was standard equipment, and... In Vietnam, especially by late Vietnam, even with M56, people ditched, soldiers ditched the butt packs, and they also ditched them in the 80s as well. However, this can connect to it, although it can also connect to the belt. The M56, same thing. Um, for suspenders, we have canvas H suspenders, and over here we have nylon Y suspenders. Um, as you can see, this one's a lot more padded and the fronts are a lot more active there's a lot more things going on this looks a lot more modern as well oh my gosh this thing keeps falling off now what's interesting about the this is the 80s and, and 67 uh and the only reason the only make, thing that makes the 80s is just the, how uh the ammunition pouches work with the uh, hooks in the back that the suspenders connect to because in vietnam the early m67 uh, equipment had this same system here where the ammunition pouches connect to the suspender and the suspender connects to the belt. However, in the 80s, and I think by the late 70s, they would have changed it for this system. Now, with the suspenders, um, they still have two connection points at the bottom. And, of course, they still have the one set of connection points here. However, these ones are a lot more padded than these ones and this is canvas of course and this is nylon if i'm gonna be honest i don't really know i i wouldn't say that one's more comfortable they're both pretty comfortable in their own right um but yeah moving on to ammunition pouches of course here we have the short 20 round mags for the m16 at one however you could also have the extended magazines like or the universal magazine for the m14 or the extended magazine for the uh, M16. These are the M extended magazines for the M16. Or the, actually the M16 at one, yeah. I think it was A4, actually, depends. I don't remember. Um, these ones are nylon. These ones, of course, are canvas. The connection area for grenades is a lot different. Uh, here it has a pouch, which the, uh, I forget what it's called, the, the handle thing on the top goes into, and then a uh, a little strap that goes around goes through the pin and a connector that buttons it. For this one, it's kind of the same with the button system. However, instead of a pouch, it actually holds the grenade in it. 
However, the early M67s did not have that. They were the same system of connected grenades as the M56, the actual Vietnam era ones. Um, we have two. Two. Oh, I forgot. Bandage pouch. Virtually the same thing. Like, it is literally the same thing, except for this one you have nylon, of course. This one is all canvas. Um, so yeah, I mean, they really do look the exact same. Um, while also, for the ammo pouches, the connection is a, uh, basically a pull tab where this clip goes over this clip, and then this tab goes in between the two, and that secures it pretty well. This one has an actual, like, clip system, which you squeeze and it comes out. And then to put back, also it's a lot more active down here, a lot of plastic in the ammo pouch itself, while this is just complete canvas and there's nothing really securing the pouches too much. Um, with the M67 uh, canteen pouches, they have a, they're nylon with a wool lining and the same button snaps. The Vietnam era ones are also wool lined, however the wool's a little different. <clears throat> and of course, they still have the butt snaps, but these ones are canvas and not nylon. Now, I must admit, nylon actually does a little bit better um, when it comes to, like, standing the test of time. <clears throat> uh, but it can still tear and wear. Now, everything in this and all the equipment here has draining holes. I don't know why. And I think there was actually there was a draining hole here, but I think that came out. This is replica, of course, so I might, I'm, some things will be changed out with originals eventually because this equipment kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Um, actually, I think it's about it. So we go from completely canvas to completely nylon. Uh, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest, for ammo pouches, I like this system better in the sense it's, it's easier to open and close, but this one's definitely going to be more secure, um, with the, now also, I forgot to mention, the, uh, they have Velcro here, the, uh, canteen pouches for, I don't know what goes in here, but there's a pocket, these ones don't, they're the same ones used in World War One and World War Two, basically, besides the snaps, and the color, of course, um, and yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know which one I prefer, if I'm really left, to be honest. Uh, M56 equipment is all nice. Um, however, to tighten stuff, I mean, to tighten stuff, it's easy. Tighten stuff here, it's easy. Um, I guess the, the belt's a little easier to work with, with how it tightens, because it tightens due to these pieces, so it actually tightens a lot easier. For the M56, it tightens just like the World War II ones, where it has pieces that clip into the other system like you know, into the holes that's why it has three holes because it connects into the middle hole um and those that, that's definitely a lot harder to tighten so the m67 has a easier belt to tighten um the ammunition pouches are more secure however they're not as easy to open as your m56 and ammunition pouches and butt packs probably virtually the same if i'm going to be perfectly honest that's about it guys that's the comparisons between the M67 and the M56 equipment. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Right,